Hi everyone, I'm very happy to be with you guys. As you can see, Sophia is with me. She didn't want to leave. She said, Daddy, take me with you. So she is with me for our lesson. So hopefully you guys are doing all good. You guys are staying safe, healthy, and uh, with your families. It's awesome. Um, so today our lesson will be about the book of Hab Habakkuk. I know that's a funny name. Habakkuk was a prophet in Israel, and it was a very difficult time for him and the Israelite people. Uh, he always as he always knew that God was just, that he was uh, he was fair. That's a better word. He was fair to everyone. He sent rain and the sun sh and the beautiful sunshine. When, when they needed it, and, it, and the good rain so their gardens could grow and they could have food. And he sent the, he sent the sunshine and rain on good people and on bad people. And Habakkuk, he saw a lot of people around him doing evil and bad things. And he was asking God, why? Why are you allowing, why are you allowing this to happen? Can you take care of this? He was complaining to God. He was asking him, uh, you need to take care of this because it's difficult for good people to leave, live when bad people do bad things to them. But God knew something that Habakkuk did not. In Romans 2.4, we learn that God in his endless kindness and mercy can forbear or put things off for a long, long time. And he is patient and diligent and he waits in his magnificent kindness to save the evil people save the people that don't know him and use the people that know god to help the people that don't know him and sometimes we think that god's not doing the right thing fast enough like we want god god i, I either want this bicycle for my birthday or this kid is mean i want him to kind of go away this um, this COVID thing is needs to be over already, but God knows what He's doing. He has patience and He has He has He has everything in the right moment, and He will not leave you or forsake you. He will be with you, and He will make everything happen when it needs to. Sometimes we want it to be faster. We complain. We could talk to our parents. When will my birthday come? When will Christmas come so I get my presents? Um, we complain to God. Like, God, why is this COVID thing not over? Why do I not have a job yet? Why, 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 why? But God knows you. God loves you. And God always does everything for your good. And he will not forsake you. And in the book of Habakkuk, it's only three chapters. You guys should read it with your parents. It's a really good uh, reading. By the end of the book of Habakkuk, uh, he says something very interesting. Uh, let me read it for you. Habakkuk 3, 17, and 18, and 19. Though the fig tree should not blossom, though the fruit on the the, nor fruit be on the vines, the, pro the produce of the olive field and the field yields no food he's saying if there's no food nothing growing that I can't even eat if that happens and if the flock can be cut off from the fold and if there's be no herd in the stalls and if there's no gonna be no 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 meat no 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 plants nothing to eat even if that happens I will rejoice in the Lord I will take joy in the Lord of God of my salvation God the Lord is my strength he makes me he makes my feet like the deer he makes me tread on high places he says even if i'm not no nothing to eat i'm gonna starve i will take joy in the lord because he is my salvation salvation is eternal and nobody can take that away from you he makes my feet like a deer in high places i'll post a picture like right now of a deer in a high place and it's it might be scary You're like whoa that is very interesting I've never thought that they could do that but they are fine they eat they go to high places 
because God equipped, equipped it them. He gave them that ability. And God gave you the ability. He never gives you more than you can handle. You have in your life, God gave you the tools, the people around you to solve those problems and to get through this hard time and to get through a hard time. And we know that our salvation doesn't come from the material things around us. It comes from God. Now let's review the memory verse. And our memory verse is Habakkuk 3.19. God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer. That's our memory verse. And I hope you guys read this book with your parents. And remember this verse because God, will, God gives you the strength to solve, to go through the hard trials and problems. May God bless you. And we love you. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.